Hello everyone. The situation in the war in Ukraine is becoming increasingly tense. Russia has been attacking Ukraine for a year and a half now but still has not achieved victory, and the border between Poland and Belarus is also very hot. So when will tensions reach their peak? Will Russia use nuclear weapons or not? And if Russia does that, how will the US and its allies respond? Let's find out together, shall we? Professor Richard K. Betts, a scholar of war and peace at Columbia University, has studied the military strategies of countries around the world for many years. Regarding the risk of Russia using nuclear weapons, he says the probability is very low, because nuclear weapons are extremely dangerous. However, Russian President Putin has repeatedly mentioned the use of nuclear weapons, especially as tensions escalate deploying nuclear weapons in Belarus and switching them to standby mode. Professor Betts believes Russia could certainly use nuclear weapons, but likely not by dropping them on densely populated cities, which would kill tens of thousands. Instead, it is highly probable that Russia would only use tactical nuclear weapons smaller weapons with a limited attack range, to strike some Ukrainian military unit or even just an empty area. The goal would be to threaten, not to inflict massive casualties. But even so, this would still be an earth-shattering event, and certainly the whole world would turn its eyes to the US and NATO countries to see how they would react to support Ukraine. There are likely three scenarios. First, the US condemns any nuclear explosion but does nothing militarily. Americans would speak of the unimaginable barbarity and wickedness of the Russians in using nuclear weapons, and would impose every possible economic sanction to punish Russia, but the US would not take any military action. However, if the US did this, it would signal to Russia that they have complete freedom to take military action, including using more nuclear weapons to wipe out Ukraine's defenses. Essentially, this means acquiescing to a Russian victory, even though this choice could make the US look weak for accepting a Russian win. But this is probably the scenario most palatable to US citizens, since it avoids the risk of the US entering the war directly. That's the first scenario the US does nothing. The second possible scenario is that the US and NATO enter the war, even in Ukraine's name, to retaliate by using nuclear weapons to strike back at Russia. However, if this actually happened, the US would also have to choose whether to retaliate against Russia with a nuclear attack on a larger scale than Russia's initial attack threatening overwhelming damage to Russia or only use smaller nuclear weapons to threaten Russia back. If the US attacked on a large scale, striking Russian forces inside Ukraine, it could inflict massive casualties on its own Ukrainian allies. During the Cold War, strategists criticized reliance on nuclear weapons, sarcastically noting that in Germany, towns were only two kilotons apart to ensure allied safety. You'd have to strike deep inside Russia, which would obviously trigger unlimited war. So tit-for-tat exchanges of small-scale nuclear attacks would favor Russia, which has more tactical nukes than the US. This symmetry would require US policymakers to quickly employ so-called strategic weapons like ICBMs or bombers to maintain superiority, but that decision would also risk large-scale war. So either a small or large-scale nuclear response to Russia would be the worst-case scenario, as it could reduce Europe and the US to wastelands history books would only remember Russia and the US. So this scenario is also very unlikely. The final, less dangerous option would be for NATO forces to directly enter the war alongside Ukraine, but only use conventional weapons to target Russian military sites and deploy ground troops into the Ukraine battlefield. This would have two implications. First, it shows that the war doesn't necessarily require nuclear weapons to destroy difficult targets implying that Russia's use of nukes shows they are either exceptionally evil or have no other choices left. This would undermine Russia's image internationally, which is important because currently many neutral countries like India or China could side with the US to sanction Russia if it used nukes. The second important message is that any subsequent Russian nuclear actions would provoke nuclear retaliation from the US. However, even this conventional warfare scenario is not very feasible, because war between superpowers, no matter how limited initially, risks rapid escalation to total destruction. The ideal solution Professor Betts proposes is an offer of negotiations containing face-saving exits for Russia to retreat honorably. The advantage of this conventional scenario is simply that it avoids nuclear retaliation risks while not abandoning Ukraine. So between these options, which do you think is best? As for me, while I know a Russian nuclear attack is very unlikely, I still hope it doesn't happen. 
looking at the Ukrainians who have lost homes, jobs, money to support their families and send their kids to school, I have seen the terrible effects of war already. I hope the war ends soon with as few casualties as possible.